Hello everyone, and welcome to the wacky game of Adventure Capitalist. Not to be confused with its sister game, Adventure Communist, which I will be trying out shortly. This game, though, starts you on Earth with a single lemonade stand and has you work your way up to several different storefronts and businesses in order to go to the moon. And after the moon, Mars. So if you're tired of waiting for SpaceX to get to Mars, go there yourself. The main premise of the game is incremental, meaning that once you buy one lemonade stand, you start earning money to buy your next lemonade stand. Once you have enough money with two lemonade stands, it grows exponentially. Then, in this example, going on to newspapers, car washes, pizza stores, donut shops, so on. As you're working your way up through the game, you get several different bonuses, either for purchasing a certain number of lemonade stands or some other business. You get upgrades. At some point, you'll have to restart your game, but don't worry, this is normal in incremental games. When you restart the game, you don't actually restart, you just get something to help you along with the next playthrough. In this case, they're called angels. For every angel that you get, you get another bonus, so that your lemonade stand doesn't just make $10 every second, it makes $100 every second. So every time you restart the game, it becomes easier. At some point, once you get to the moon and Mars, you'll win. I personally enjoyed this game. I played this game for 160 hours. That's roughly the amount of time that it took me to beat the game. I will say that with most incremental games, you can leave it open and it will continue on by itself. Not in the sense of playing itself, but it will progress to a certain point at which you come back, buy more stuff with the money that you've accumulated, and it will go on again. Of course, with all free-to-play games, there is usually a premium currency that you can buy, in this case being gold bricks. See, I'm still a first-time buyer, meaning that I've never bought gold bricks, so it is possible to beat the game without purchasing the premium currency. Other currencies in the game include megabucks and bags of money. The megabucks you can actually purchase with money that you've created while playing the game. For example, I've just purchased four megabucks for whatever number that is that I currently have in Earth dollars. There are also mega tickets that you can purchase with megabucks or gold bricks, and then of course you can earn all of these different currencies during certain events, which I found fairly fun to play. So that's my quick review. Let me know what you think down in the comments, like it, subscribe if you'd like to, and if you have another incremental game that you want me to try, please leave it down below, I'll check it out, and maybe I'll make a video. Thanks very much for watching, keep on jamming.